On the 15th anniversary of the Mumbai terror attack, India remembered the horrific tragedy that claimed the lives of 166 people. 15 years ago, on November 26, 2008, 10 lashkar taiba terrorists had stormed into Mumbai to wreck the city completely. Mumbai was in the grip of terror for four consecutive days. For those who experienced one of the most horrific assaults on Indian territory, the memory of the vicious assault is still vivid. A report. On November 26, 2008, one of the deadliest terror attacks on Indian soil occurred in Mumbai. The attack claimed the lives of 166 people, including foreign nationals, while injuring over 300 others. The attacks were carried out by 10 lashkar e taiba terrorists who sailed into Mumbai from the Pakistani port city of Karachi. The Indian security forces killed nine terrorists but one Ajmal Kasab was apprehended alive. Following a trial, he was hanged on November 21, 2012, four years later. On the 15th anniversary of the attack, India paid tributes to the people who lost their lives in the horrific attack. Senior state politicians, including Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, laid wreaths and paid tribute to the victims at a martyr's memorial in the premises of the Police Commissioner Office in South Mumbai. Mumbai has moved on, but the wounds will never go away. For those who experienced one of the most horrific assaults on Indian territory, the memory of the vicious assault is still vivid. <laughs> खाने पे दे उठे उसको पानी दिया उन लोग पे हिंसा है कि नहीं हां पानी दिया उसको वो बैठे फिर उसको पानी देके बैठे पीके बोले ग्लास रख देंगे सर वो उनको लगा होगा ऐसा और उसने पीछे से उनको गोली मार दी Six Israeli citizens were among those killed during the attack when terrorists held residents captive at the Jewish outreach center of Nariman house Paying tribute to the victims of attack Consul General of Israel to Midwest India, Kobi Shoshani said that DNA of both India and Israel is the foundation of strong bond between the two nations. Shoshani also drew a comparison between the 2611 attacks in Mumbai with the recent October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas. Today, 26-11, our heart is with India. Our heart is with Mumbai. Our heart with the people who killed, murdered here by terrorists. And that's the most important thing. And I think that always the bond between India and Israel is not only because we are brother in the age or because of our history, because of our DNA. To fight against terrorism is the most important thing. Pakistan has gained the international reputation of being the world's foremost exporter of jihadism. While analyzing the causes and consequences of this phenomenon, numerous observers find that there are clear indicators that the Pakistani government is involved in sponsoring terrorism. Despite criticism, Pakistan continues to host wanted terrorists and criminals like gangster Daud Ibrahim Mumbai terror attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed and chief of Hezbollah Mujahideen Saeed Salauddin. Moreover, Pakistan has denied the presence of several individuals on its soil who have been designated as terrorists by India. For Pakistan, considering some terrorists as instruments of regional influence while fighting others has had disastrous consequences. According to a report by Islamabad-based Independent Center for Research and Security Studies, the number of fatalities from terrorist attacks in Pakistan this year has increased by 19% compared to 2022. Most nations try to learn from their past, but Pakistan is determined not to do so.